Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a Saturday. So far today I have watched my niece. She came over for like an hour and I watched her. And now we are in the backyard. I'm gonna set up some water stuff for the girls even though the grass is so long it needs to be mowed so bad. It's driving me crazy. This freaking patio, look at all of the worms. We had a lot of storms and rain the past couple days so it just got so dirty out here with all of the little worms all over the place. So I'm gonna leaf blow and probably hose some stuff down. is one of the many reasons why I want this to be mulched because it's basically set up for a mud pit. This is all like dead grass and it's in the most convenient locations for if it's wet, the kids will make a huge mess. So I just want to get this done, but I honestly, I don't know when the heck I'm gonna find time to do it. The girls have been begging to do these water balloons, but honestly, the weather has not been warm here in Ohio at all for like the past week and a half. It's been raining a lot and it's been chilly. So now that it's a decent day, we are going to do the balloons. Also, I just want to get a little update on my weight loss. I have lost six pounds so far. Ah, they're falling off. Ah, get Got the water balloons. Here you go. Here, take them by the handle. They don't like to throw them at each other. They like to throw them at this tree because they pop so easily. Not even like one week ago, I took all the screens out. I cleaned the screens and the windows really good. And I wake up like two days later and a bird poops. Which is just like crazy because birds never, I, I've never seen a bird poop on that window. But of course the time where I finally take all the screens out and clean the windows, spend like an hour and a half doing it. A bird poops on it. The girls went around and picked up all the little pieces of the water balloon. They're like a huge, huge choking wrist. So all these little tiny pieces, even like a little tiny piece can get stuck in there because I think the size of it is like your pinky from what I remember. I finished outside, that took me about like an hour and a half. Um, I did all that while Isla was napping. So that's why I was able to just like get it all done. I just whipped up Patrick and I have some burgers because we haven't had lunch yet. The kids did, but we did not. Also cooked up some seasoned fries. What is for Patrick? Since I just cleaned off the patio and the roof that's directly above it is also covered in the worms and sticks, I decided to come up here with a broom and clean it all up. A lot of it's stuck on the roof, which I'm not too worried about it. I just want to get the larger quantities off so that this doesn't blow off right back onto the patio. All right, got it all in the bag. Down it goes. It is a lot of hours later. I'm heading to Aldi really quick before they close. I don't have my keys. Got them. There's not a lot of stuff that I need to get because Patrick did go grocery shopping yesterday but he either forgot or couldn't find um, a couple of the stuff. Like he just completely forgot to get fruit. How do you forget to get fruit? I don't know. Today has been kind of like a lazy day. I mean, I did some stuff outside, but I'm just feeling kind of lazy. So a little bit later on, got the groceries. I have the fruit out right here for drying. I'm about to go for a little evening bike ride. I have enough time to go around my entire neighborhood before it gets like super dark. Also my bike, look how cool. It has headlights and brake lights. And I believe, yeah, turning signal. <laughs>
I'm done with my ride. I wish I could describe the way that riding my bike makes me feel, especially when I'm alone. It's great when I have the kids, but like when I'm alone and I don't have to keep checking on them and worrying about them and I can just like ride my bike. I can go fast, especially when the sun's setting. It's so relaxing listening to music. It's honestly been so therapeutic for me. I've been riding it two or three times a day. I'll ride my bike and I know I, I go all over the place because I can get really far in this thing. I can only do these bike rides by myself on the weekends though, obviously because like Patrick's home and he's putting the girls to bed right now, but still, I love it. That's, that's another reason. I love the weekends, even more reason because I get to do <laughs> my therapeutic bike rides. Kitchen is clean and I got the robot vacuum going. I washed all of the uh, pillowcases for the couch because they were getting pretty sticky. Today is Sunday. It's actually Father's Day today, so happy Father's Day. I just got done getting ready because we're going to go out and enjoy the nice weather. We're going to go to his mom's house and, you know, hang out. They're going to play, cook out, all of that fun stuff. But I wanted to show you guys, we were finally able to get uh, Patrick's wedding band or engagement band, whatever you want to call it. So thank you to Gentle Bands for sponsoring this video. That is where we found Patrick's ring from. They are an online site that makes handcrafted reimagined rings for men. When we were looking for my ring, Patrick was also looking at rings and he didn't like any of the traditional chunky, plain, boring men's rings that you normally see in any jewelry store that you go in. We went with Gentle Bands because they have so many different unique rings on there that are made in unconventional ways to choose from. Look at the packaging, it's really neat and sleek and I love that. It comes with a certificate of craftsmanship. It tells you who made it and the date that it was made on. The ring has a lifetime warranty and it's also really easy to take care of and they also offer free ring sizing as well. Patrick chose this ring which is the tungsten. It has opal and meteorite and a tungsten body which is actually the world's most enduring metals. With that being said, it is scratch resistant, very durable, and it's super comfortable for him to wear. If you are on the hunt for your man's ring or they wanna upgrade it and get a new one, definitely check out Gentle Bands. I do have a discount code for you guys, of course. It is going to be Olivia25, and that will get you 25% off for your order. You can click the link in my description and it'll take you straight to their site. I'm wearing my Walmart dress that I am obsessed with. In the last vlog, I showed you guys the other pattern I had that I wore on the date that we went on. This is the other color, it's this green color. I'm obsessed. So comfy, stretchy, breathable, soft, cute, the best, and it's only $12. If I didn't link them in the last video, I think I did, but if I didn't, I'll have them linked down in this video. So it is now the next morning. I'm getting stuff ready to go to the splash pad. I'm gonna meet my grandma and my niece and nephew there, and obviously take the girls there so I got towels, swim diapers, sunscreen, a brush, sun hats, wipes, outfits for when we're done. I need to pack some snacks. I have this cooler bag that is amazing. It's such a good bag. I actually got it with my BlendJet uh, blender. So I threw a couple ice packs in there. Some smoothies, cheese sticks, strawberries, grapes, and watermelon. Bringing myself a baby bell cheese a banana, a nut pack, and a kind bar. I have no idea what I'm gonna want. Three apple pouches and some bribery items in case I need them. And of course, a full water bottle with ice for everybody. I'm also gonna bring some pretzels. You can never have too many snacks. I'm just gonna shout out some products really quick because they're amazing and I've been using them for so long. The Tangle Teaser. I have this mini one that I keep in our diaper bag and it's amazing. This brush in general, I have the full size of it, is amazing just to brush hair, but especially with their fine curly knots very easily hair, it's a great brush. I will have it linked, I'll have all this stuff linked. And then this is the sunscreen that I use for them. I can use it on myself too sometimes, but it's a 
mineral sunscreen. It is water resistant for 88 minutes and this is SPF 50 for both of them. So it's blue lizard. It's non-toxic safe. This one's the sensitive mineral sunscreen. It's the spray. And then I just tried this out this year. This is my first time trying like a stick out, but it's really good for their face or on their ears, like spots that are kind of hard to reach or you don't want to spray this <laughs> near their eyes and stuff. This is really good for that. And it's basically the same thing. It's just in stick form. So I've been loving these. Now I need to start the car because it's a really hot day outside and I am not about to get in this probably 95, 100 degree <laughs> car and buckle all these kids in because I'm going to start sweating. I also have a little baggie in there that I just keep at all times that has specifically band-aids. It's kind of inevitable that one kid is going to most likely fall and scrape some part of their body. And the stroller. I'm not bringing the double because it's not really that big of a space, but I do need a stroller to contain Isla at times. And when we walk in and when we leave and stuff, that's what this is for. Hopefully it's not too cold. Looks kind of chilly. They also have this sand pit. There's also a playground over there, and then the splash pads over that way. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. We just left the splash pad. We were there for about almost three and a half hours. We were there for a long time. We are beat, but we had fun. All the snacks got eaten. We had one knee scrape, which I said was gonna happen. We lost a shoe. Isla's little crock, which I'm so sad about. I have no idea where it went. I tried looking for it, cannot find it. They're the cute little croc shoes that I got off of Timu for her. I am exhausted. I cannot believe that I thought we were gonna come home and I was gonna do some like outside landscaping because I'm definitely not doing that. It is, it is now the next day. We are having another day of some summer fun. We have been waiting for this weather, desperate for this weather where we can just play outside, be in the water, do all the fun summer stuff. So this morning, my mom came over with the cousins and they all got to play. I set up the splash pad for them, the water table. They had some lunch, all that. And then we rested for a few hours and now we are going to head to Cedar Point and my parents are actually gonna meet me there. It's really nice because both of my parents have passes this year, so whenever, I go if I feel like I need an extra hand. Sometimes I go along with them, but like I didn't really want to go along today. So my mom and dad said that they would meet us there. So that is where we are heading right now. Since I'm gonna have two, well, four extra hands, two adults there with me today, I think we're gonna go to the back of the park. We haven't done that in a while. Like we definitely haven't done it this year. It's quite the hike to get to the back. There is rides that they haven't been on this year yet and i don't want it to get too boring for them because if we go on the same stuff every single time it just kind of gets repetitive plus they keep changing the park every single year and i haven't seen some of those changes yet but it also low-key makes me sad because i've been going to cedar point my whole life like i basically have had a season pass every year since i was I don't know and probably an infant and the vintage retro like original cedar point is gone now like it's all very modernized and all the cool restaurants that used to be there and how everything used to look like really ugly like everything used to be blue and red and it's still some of it still is they just changed the entire park and it it just low-key makes me sad because my kids will never get to experience that but also i know that the cedar point they're experiencing now is going to be nostalgic to them when they're an adult so i guess that's all that really matters but i do miss the cedar point that it once was like when i was a child you can take out this little tiny stroller because we're definitely going to need the double for today best big sister ever she always wants to carry her out to the car and put her in her seat you know how to tighten it? Good job. Mommy will fix it. Oh, You're wearing yeah. a bracelet that says Hazel. You're not Hazel. We'll put that bike back. All right, for this trip, we got the girls sitting together. But first we needed to stop and get some Chick-fil-A because we are very hungry. Chicken sandwich. Me. Mac and cheese for the lady. Gigi's water. We just got here and actually, 
we're not gonna have to walk uh, the whole park like I thought because I totally forgot that they have the parking lot for the water park. This is perfect, this parking lot, because you can enter right in the back, and that ride right there, the kitty land's like right across from it. So this is perfect. We don't have to walk the entire park. You get a good view of all the roller coasters in this parking lot. And look in the back. There's the water park. And there's the water park, which we'll make our way to someday here soon. There they go. There's one. There's another. My parents are standing right over there. Hazel has so much energy. As soon as it got dark at Cedar Point, she was wanting to ride everything. She was kind of iffy at first. Like she was like, okay, if you guys are going, I'm going. But then once the sun went down, she was like, can we go on another ride? Can we go on another ride? So we stayed until they closed, actually after they closed. We didn't leave there until like, I don't know, 10, 15 is when we finally got out of the parking lot. But I'm just shocked that she didn't pass out in the car because Isla and Graceland definitely did. It was like three hours past Isla's by the time she was so slap happy. She was being so hyper, but it was because she was just like so tired that she was acting crazy. So she knocked out, Graceland's knocked out. I need to get her in the house, which is gonna be the hardest one because she's seven. I don't know if you guys remember when you would fall asleep as a kid in the car, like having to get up was the worst part of it. We had a really fun time, it was awesome. It was so helpful having my parents there. They really helped out a lot. I was also able to ride some bigger rides, like just me and Graceland, or some of the kitty rides, just me and Hazel, or they got to ride with, you know, Grandma and Papa, and it was just a good time. But we're tired, so we need to go to bed. It is the next morning. Last night was a super late night. Like I said, we didn't get home until late in the night and I didn't end up getting the girls, all the older girls to bed until like 11.30. Actually, they probably didn't go to bed until midnight by the time they actually closed their eyes and went to sleep, which is insane because that's way past their bedtime, but <laughs> it's okay. I probably won't ever stay out that late with them again just because it throws everybody off schedule. We woke up all super late today. So now everything's all jacked up, but it's okay. We'll get back on our normal schedule and it'll be fine. And it's summer, so it really doesn't matter. I don't really have much on my plan today other than I am going to be watching my niece for like the majority of the actual day. So I'm not going to be vlogging today. I'm just going to probably go ahead and end it. I just made my morning coffee. I've been obsessed with my little Aldi find cups i love them thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye